Vast lands have been destroyed, water bodies polluted, as illegal mining activities continue in various communities. Illegal gold miners have targeted major cocoa growing communities in Ashanti, Eastern, Western and Western North regions. In September this year, the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources outlined a new raft of measures to help in the fight against illegal mining. The new measures came up after the Minister of Lands and Natural Resources, Samuel Abujina, chaired a meeting with some stakeholders to review the various steps and strategies that have been implemented so far in the fight against illegal mining. Among the measures include Operation HALT 2, which will ramp up its support to the various measures being implemented to clamp down on illegal mining. According to the Ghana Geospatial Society, the use of geospatial technology and intelligence is indispensable in the fight against illegal mining, Galamse. We are now looking at using satellite images that we will get within short intervals over spaces where, for example, the illegal mining is occurring. We will then be able to analyze this to see and identify that there is illegal mining in this particular area. We then move in there and then deal with it. That will be a faster approach than sending people to then look out for it or listen to someone to tell you that something is happening. And probably the time you get there, the people have run away. Geospatial intelligence and technology uses satellite images, cloud computing platforms to identify environmental challenges in time to help conserve the environment for the future. The geospatial tools will allow us to pinpoint where those things are and the extent of damage. Using drone, using satellite, using ground service, we can manage it and then know how to mitigate the problem. Flooding, fire, uh, like you said about um, this army worm, everything is happening in the space and it's a geospatial that is able to tell us where those things are happening.